So this is part two. We're gonna continue on what we did last time. If you remember, we started on the titles. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna copy that and paste that so that we now have a case one and then we're gonna shift everything up one. And this one will be minus two. And then we're gonna have our case two where this is the answer. This is plus one, this is plus two, or actually minus two. And this is minus one. And then we'll have our last one, which is basically where we have this one as the answer. So change that to three, and then this one will become answer, and then answer plus one, and then answer minus two, then answer minus one. And what we're gonna do is copy that. And for every single case, we're gonna have that. And then case two, also the same. The only thing we have to change is the sign. So that one's going to become minus. We change this to minus. And then we have this one becoming multiplied. Then we have this one becoming asterisked, and then nothing else. We're on to we're on to these answers, and we're gonna have if answer mix num equals let's say t um. Answer it makes num equals zero, and it's answer one. Then it's wrong. So we're gonna, just gonna say score equals score minus one, and then score label dot text equals incorrect or score score score. And then we have result.text, and it's going to say incorrect. And then we're going to hide, we're gonna hide the question. So we're gonna say question dot is hidden equals true. And then answer one answer ants one dot is hidden equals two true and we might as well just copy that and paste that three more times and that one will be answer two three answer four and then we're also going and then that's it Now we're gonna move on to the, and we're gonna, yes, copy that. Else, it, and then there's one. Again, it's going to be incorrect. But this time, we know if, if this is three, two, then answer one is the answer. So two and score plus one, correct. And then we're going to have that the same. Now what we have to do is just copy that 
and then paste it back here. Now, answer two, which is this one, is correct when it's case one. So what we can do essentially is switch that with two and switch that with one. Or when, it, yeah. And then again, we'll copy and paste. And again, we can use the same strategy. Okay, and so three is correct on the first try. So we, we just switch that with two and switch that with zero. And answer four is correct on the last one. So what we can do is just switch this one for three or four. Or I made a mistake every single time. So this one just has to be three. This one has to be zero. So for every single one of these, we have to change this to three. Now, let's try it out. Let's see if it works. Three, four, three plus 17, 360. Oh, we have a few bugs in the beginning. So here we're just going to say result dot is hidden equals false. And then next prob dot is hidden equals false. And yes, for next problem, we will have to define an IB action. Next problem, we're just going to run VDID load. And in VDID load, we're going to say question dot is hidden equals false and one dot is hidden equals false and two dot is hidden equals false and three dot is hidden equals false and four dot is hidden equals false Pretty much it. And then here, as we had here, we're gonna copy this and paste it into every single answer button. Again, another bug because we haven't linked that up. Let's go ahead again. We're going to try this out.
Six plus eight is four. Dang it. 194 minus 97, that should be 77. That should be 442. That should be 177, so on, so on, so on. So anyway guys, our app works. I will be posting this onto, the, onto YouTube in the source code below. So anyway guys, if you like these two videos, Please like and subscribe. And the this code, this final code will also be posted on part one. So keep looking for more videos from us. And bye.